I'm Amy Boss, and I love my church. I'm April Beaver, and I love my church. I'm Avery Kelch, and I love my church. We're, We're the Conovers, and we love our church. I'm Dan Boss, and I love my church. Uh, everyone here just has such a good heart and it's amazing to me how welcoming they are all the time. There's a whole lot of people here and everybody gets along with everybody and yeah, coming here was a good thing for our family. There's people that will greet me in the morning, hi Parker, and I'll be like, hello, I don't quite know your name, but it's amazing to me that you know me. I would love to get to know you. When my husband and I got married, we knew right away this is where we wanted to raise our children. I think First Reformed Church, a lot of it, it's a big family that um, you might be a guest, but they're opening their arms to you and reaching out to you. It's just an inviting church, and, and we want people to feel comfortable here, and, and we want them to feel loved here. When we had struggles with our son Titus in the hospital, our church really came around us. And, and we felt just really blessed by that. We love the community and the caring people. We had Rachel early, um, she came six weeks early and we were getting cards and visits and phone calls. I was just shocked at the outpouring uh, that we didn't even know was happening uh, while Rachel was in the NICU. It was just amazing. A point in my life I went through uh, a real rocky patch and I got a lot of uh, support from the congregation and that always has meant a lot to me. We just look to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ and to what it means to live a life uh, that's fully devoted to Him uh, and connecting. Uh, we try to care our very best for people and uh, knowing uh, the needs that they, they may have reaching out. And that might mean um, serving through our local food pantry, dropping off a, a food box to helping uh, a neighbor down the road with uh, a roofing project or, or maybe some painting uh, to serving the community through one of our many children's and, and youth ministries uh, that are taking place. You know, I look forward to the Sunday morning experience um, of just being fed and nourished um, by the teaching and the worship. And, and then you walk out the door and you just, um, are blessed by the people of the church. I felt the heart of God here and that was what I responded to. When we come to church, we expect to commune with the Holy God. We expect to meet the Holy Spirit and be in His presence. It's not just coming to church because we need to. It's coming with an expectation of what's gonna happen. The people love God and you can tell it. You can tell in their um, worship and in the the way that they get involved with people, with everything that's going on here. I really just recently have loved seeing all the new young families that are coming and they have such a passion for Jesus. I don't think I had that when I was that age. So it's just really encouraging uh, to me to see what is coming behind me. It's a place where someone who's just starting out in their faith is gonna feel welcome, gonna feel at home, feel accepted and included. But at the same time, it's a place for people who've maybe been around the church for quite a while or who've just moved into town to feel like they're leveling up in their faith. Someone who knows God's Word is going to know more of God's Word in a new way, just like someone who's just beginning to study the Bible is going to have some fresh insights that are going to get them to step one in their journey with Jesus Christ. I think we have an awesome opportunity to be helping people grow in their faith. The addition is going to be exciting. Definitely offers some opportunities to uh, do some additional programming. With kids in today's society, they're experiencing so many um, difficulties and struggles throughout life that now they're able to come here. They're able to express their struggles um, and have just people pray for them. And it's a support system with our youth groups. Um, it's just they come, they have fun, they're able to forget about what's happening in school. Um, maybe it's not so good that they're able to laugh, they're able to pray about it. Um, it's just a good thing for that youth. I think if you're looking for a place to take ownership, if you're looking for a place to be involved, 
and to not just show up and, and, and leave again, this is a good place for that. We're, We're the, the Havertings and, and we, we love our, our church. I am Lori Blumadal and I love my church. I'm J.R. Seversma and I want to tell you and everyone else that I truly, truly love this church. We're, We're the, the Fishers, Fishers and, and we, we love, love our church. church. I am Terry Meekma and I love this church.